Hello and we're back in Life is Strange. I have to go find Warren and give him back his flash drive. He's right there, so I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. But here we go. That bird isn't the thing we Look take a photo of, is it? Way back machine. He's a brave man. This bird over here. Yeah. There was a bird perched on something. Too bad those posters will be trashed and ignored. No, it mustn't be that. Yes, because it's in the, um... The photo op thing, there's a bird. Well, same as the... The van. Oh, the RV. We should go and take a photo of Please! Oh, shut up, Warren. No one cares. About the problem is sort of finding where the prompt is. Yes. Oh. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. Once again, flash, broad daylight. <laughs> you mostly just taking a horrible looking picture, yeah. I'm so dirty. Uh, and yes, we have the other side of this journal entry now, I think. So I'm starting to get the hang of this whole rebind thing. I don't want to waste this power, but there has to be a reason it was given to me. So I better learn how to use it right. I started by saving Alyssa from getting a football field headshot. I admit it felt amazing just to help Alyssa with something as simple as that. I also saw David Madsen harassing Kate Marsh. I couldn't hear everything, but he was accusing her of something. All that guy can do is point fingers. I got so pissed I went over to stop him from being such a bully. He's a security guard, not a stormtrooper. He was an asshole, as usual. But I felt good about what I did, and Kate seemed truly happy that somebody stood up for her, and I did that without using my rewind power. There we go, so we're up to date. Should we now talk to Warren? Yes. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really, or I don't want to talk? Uh, really? Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that... Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can, we know you Daniel can posted it online, I don't thought we? you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, yes, I thanks. Did. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Don't watch Cannibal Holocaust. No. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Faster Pussycat Kill Kill is way more fun. <laughs> no, I was impressed you had faster Pussycat Kill Kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Genius in color? Sensitive ass why, why, why does it have to be if in black I was and lucky. 
speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Should we talk? Uh, why not, yeah. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! Should we feign ignorance or tell him the truth? I just tell him the truth. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a Don't step back, that. Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! Oh, oh, I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Me. Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Nothing or nothing. <laughs> what? Hopefully nothing. nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No. no it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah. Must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Yeah. Of course. It's one of the it best photography like programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. See, now, I don't like this, because how am I supposed to know? I'm, I'm a character, this isn't me. Yeah. Mm, give me give a break. Me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to I'm pretty sure at her age it wasn't her choice to move to Seattle. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. So was that a twin tweet? 
Peak's license plate then. It did look like and it. Why aren't they wearing seatbelts and why is this car so wide? <laughs> How much room is in it? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Huh. She's not gonna keep on saying things. Anyway, uh, we she should- She does <laughs> just talk like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, um... But yes, we're gonna look around and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.